Yes, I definitely have experienced the you're a girl, you don't know anything about sports or you're just trying to be a reporter so you can catch yourself an athlete. Um, I've definitely gotten those. But how did I overcome that? Uh, just because I, I just know. I mean, you can't tell me about myself. You can't tell me something about myself. So, um, and especially just knowing facts after somebody tells you that you don't know anything and they ask you questions, just always being knowledgeable. And it's important for me, but also like something that just comes almost naturally because sports is a passion for me. So whether I'm working or not, I know what's going on in sports. Um, but I always feel like I'm working. So it's like, it's not like it's leisure time anyways, but if I wasn't doing it for work, I would be doing it regardless. So when somebody says like, oh, you don't know anything about sports. Like you don't even know who's in the conference finals. And you're like, please, let's not. <laughs> um, just to, so being knowledgeable definitely tears down anything that anybody has to say about you because once you start speaking about whatever it is that they're saying you don't know, they kind of, they back off. My number one role model that I've always watched was Sage Steele um, and Jamel Hill now, uh, who's actually been a mentor to me um, while I was in college. Um, I just think both of them are so true to themselves and so down to earth as well. Um, they're very humble, they're very successful, they are very real. Um, so those, Sage Steele and Jamel are definitely two people that I idolize. I don't think it's just women, I just think media in general, but it is, there is like a 15 minute grace period. Uh, you can't just go in with them. Um, but it's, it's just kind of, I lean on the fence with it only because you want to get their reaction right after the game. Uh, if they're mad and you want to get that emotion opposed to 30 minutes goes by, they might be more calm. Um, so just at, from a media standpoint, it's, you get more out of it the closer it is to the end of the game. Uh, but on the opposite end of their own privacy, maybe they need a little bit more than 15 minutes. But this is your job, so if you know you have 15 minutes, maybe speed it up. Um, but I don't think, I mean, in a, it's a professional environment. So if I'm being professional, you should also be professional. If you're in a towel, cool, but I mean, they walk around naked. And they're like, mm, whatever, you're, you're in here, this is, where I, this is where I work. So you could have waited a little bit longer is kind of like probably what they're thinking. Um, but it's like, I have a story to tell, I have a job to do as well. Um, so I don't think it should be more time given. I just think it should be more of a, if you know women reporters are gonna be in there, just, I mean, I wouldn't be butt naked. Um, but some of them really don't care. And I've been in that situation as well in baseball. They just walk around and you just have to kind of, I mean, don't look down. Absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say that everyone is going to shoot their shot, but uh, in a lot, of, a lot of different situations, especially if it's like a one-on-one -on -one interview where maybe it's just me, an athlete, and a videographer, they feel a little more comfortable. I wouldn't say it happens all the time at all, um, but it, it does happen, and you just have to as a person, as you have to know where you're trying to go and if this situation is gonna help you get there. Because for me, I don't, I don't really entertain that kind of thing. Only because, and it's a personal thing. I mean, it's also, people will tell you, you shouldn't, if you're trying to be a sports reporter, you probably shouldn't be dating an athlete. Um, and that goes to show, like, even being respected as a journalist, because maybe they think you got to where you were because of this person. Um, but that can also hurt you because then now you're all in the media with this, with this person as their girlfriend instead of people might not know you as a sports reporter yet. You're still on the come up and they're already there. So it's just, it's a, a personal decision you have to make. But for me, I don't, um, I politely decline. I like to have relationships with these people because I have to deal with them. And the better relationship you have with an athlete as a reporter, the, the more you get out of them as far as stories or exclusives and things like that. So I wouldn't say that I'm like, don't try it. <laughs> um, but I definitely am nice about it. You know, I, 
I'm flattered, but I'm, I'm going to keep it on the more professional side. I'm trying to get to, you know. So, and most people have, some people will be like, they'll take it the wrong way and they won't even talk to you next time. Uh, but most people are just very respectable about it. Probably the most awkward I've felt in a locker room situation, uh, it was when I was covering baseball, um, I was interning, and the player, they had just lost, and they were getting asked, the, I mean, the most ridiculous questions after just losing when they were supposed to win or whatever. And he would just, he wouldn't look at anybody else. He would just look at me and answer everybody's questions, and then he would be like, so does anybody else have any more questions? What is everybody doing after this? And literally just looking at me, and I'm like, well, this is getting awkward. And my videographer is like, ask him a million questions. Like, if he's going to do this, just ask questions. And that's where I had to, like, adapt and learn that, I mean, if you're going to try to put me in an awkward position, I, mean, I have to take advantage of it. So I, will have, I do have other questions to ask you. I'm going to give my full story. Um, and I just can't be, I can't feel awkward. But some of them will definitely try to make you feel that way. Well, there's definitely a time and a place for everything. Um, in my own experience, I would say that it's my job to, to tell the story. It's my job to let their fans or even just the public know a certain situation. So if I'm asking, I mean, the popular question right now is, Kevin Durant, what are you going to do? Um, you know, are you going to stay in OKC? Or are you going to leave? Have you thought about it? And they asked him that right after they lost in the Western Conference Finals from a 3-1 advance. Like, I mean, obviously, I, you just knew he wasn't going to answer that question. But it had to be asked, because what if he did answer it? So you just have to kind of get over, over that, because you want to be the first person with the news. So have you thought about it? Are you going to leave? He gave a very bland answer, but if, if he would have been like, you know what, I'm staying. Don't ask me the question again then oh, now we all have a headline. So, like I said, the media just has to do their job and, and that's, all the, that's all we can do. Thank you for watching A Wise Way. Subscribe to stay updated, share to pass the knowledge, or view our other videos on the left.